owning oneself or the Owning oneself or the concept of self-ownership implies full control and autonomy over one's actions and decisions. While it may seem empowering, the worldview presented in the Life Chan Yuan documents suggests several potential harms. One, attachment and ego. Owning oneself can lead to strong attachment to one's own desires, ego, and material possessions. This attachment can cause suffering as it often leads to selfishness, greed, and a constant state of striving and dissatisfaction. As mentioned in the Life Chan Yuan philosophy, selfishness is the source of troubles and the first passport to hell. Source. Two, isolation and disconnection. Emphasizing self-ownership can create a sense of separation from others and the natural world. Life Chan Yuan promotes the idea that humans should live harmoniously with nature and others, and excessive self-focus can hinder this harmony. The documents emphasize the importance of integrating with the community and nature rather than isolating oneself. 3. Misalignment with the Divine Path According to the Life Chan Yuan teachings, true fulfillment comes from following the divine path and aligning oneself with higher spiritual principles. Owning oneself can sometimes lead individuals away from this path, as they might prioritize their own will over divine guidance. The philosophy encourages Qing Wei Shanti, Qing Wei Da Ziren, revering God, life, and nature, and following God's way, nine source. Four, illusion of control. Believing in complete self-ownership can create an illusion of control over life's outcomes. Life Chan Yuan emphasizes that many aspects of life are governed by higher laws and natural rhythms that are beyond individual control. Recognizing this can lead to greater peace and acceptance. In essence, the harm in owning oneself lies in the potential for increased ego, isolation, misalignment with spiritual principles, and the illusion of control, all of which can detract from a harmonious, fulfilling life as outlined in the Life Chan Yuan philosophy.